Greetings from the Irico Sisters Mad Shad. Freya Vigi May Freya Bless on this wonderful Friday. 28 degrees. Turn my car off. Uh, overcast. Uh, 28 degrees and sleeting. Yes, sleeting. Minor, 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 minute sleeting. Minute sleeting in progress. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, hey, welcome to Cleveland. Uh, we don't call it climate change. We call it weather. <laughs> yes, anyway. Uh, otherwise, it's a good day. I mean, uh, it's, it's one of those days where it's just kind of you're, you're finding things to do. You know, it's, uh, I, I don't like these days where I have to try to find things to do. You know, uh, I, I like to keep busy. Uh, but, you know, hey, uh, whatever. It's it's a drag ass day. It's it's you know hey you you got to think about it. It's a good day, right? Uh, that's that's what's up. Um, but I tell you about those who did not have a good day. I see my breath. Those Americans that are trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trader Joe and his malicious slash incompetent regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abbey Gate in Kabul, Afghanistan, along with 200 other fo other folks and 300 other. Plus, people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't grow back. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is! But there was hope. There is hope. These folks are still in country. Can you imagine? There was hope. Nonprofit or nonprofit organizations. The people! Veterans and all the people that, that align themselves to the cause. And that is Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple Project, Exit Project, Dynamo, Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. <sighs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, meanwhile. More things catching on fire, more things spilling, more things blowing up more things. I mean, hey, you know, it's it's a big country. It is a big country. I have to say this. I have to say this. It is, it is a big country. Uh, but, you know, and when things are a coincidence, are they really a coincidence? I don't believe there is such thing as a coincidence. Uh, but um, random things do happen. Um, and so another a, a interesting, if they're a little suspect, then maybe we should look into it. Uh, fire in Boston at a uh, uh, a hazmat containment area, hazmat uh, place, a place that you go and send your hazmat to. You know, uh, it was somewhat minor. <laughs> uh, three uh, three three eighteen wheeler trailers caught on fire. And who knows what was in them? Uh, you know, uh, but you know more of these happen every day and, and maybe it's because we're watching for it we're we're looking for it you know and, and we see it uh but these things happen close to like 1700 times a year <laughs> we just don't hear about it it happens in a uh undisclosed location away from people a lot of things happen and when when the when the eye of the people is not upon it and it's just like mm -hmm. uh but you know and that's been happening for a long fucking time. Long time. Uh, but uh, in regards to things over our airspace, things that, that, that you know, we, we pay, we, we the people pay our government a large sum of money to house and maintain a, a standing uh, Army, a standing army, a standing Marine Corps, a standing Navy, a standing Air Force, and uh, we we expect them to be the best because we pay the big money, right? We want our money's worth. Um, so when a uh, uh, when when a when a when a missile uh, goes missing, 
because it couldn't shoot down something or uh, that that's what we're facing <laughs> there's a missile missing <laughs> or either we don't know where it is it could be in lake huron uh huron it could be in michigan somewhere it could be in canada somewhere but you know uh, the bogey over uh, uh lake huron was shot down it took them two missiles to do it the first one missed and uh you know of course they're saying it's a weather balloon <laughs> party balloon something of that nature <laughs> but Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, the, the other thing that, 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 that gets me is the, the lack of intel or the, the absolute disregard to share anything. You know, oh, it's, 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 it's you know, national security. We can't talk about it. Yes, motherfucker, talk about it. Talk about it. You know, the only reason they said anything is because we seen it first or, well, we started to see it, you know, uh, we they they had been tracking the first one the the actual Chinese balloon from the Wayland uh, wait what's it called Wayman Wayman Island off the coast of uh, 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 China and uh, been tracking it for weeks and as soon as somebody seen it as soon as people seen it over Montana and started taking pictures of it that's when the DoD was like oh hey guess what uh, we got a we got a balloon yeah it's been here for a while but uh hey we're gonna shoot it down uh, eventually <laughs> uh, once it makes its way across the United States yeah sure and you know that of course we know was a Chinese spy balloon the first time that we have ever shot anything down well <laughs> uh, that we know of, uh, since the 1940s, uh, and you could you could basically say that it, that wasn't over, that was over a United States territory, Pearl Harbor, and not a state. So it wasn't a it wasn't our, our sovereign uh, airspace. But uh, you could kind of say it was. It was a military airbase. It was a military naval base slash airbase. So you know, it's been that long since we shot anything down, and now we're just shooting everything down. Uh, but you know, are we, are, is it, is it really just a, a party balloon or a, or a, uh, a car salesman, wacky, wa wacky, waving, inflatable, or inflating tool man that goes, goes, uh, goes crazy and starts woo, 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 flying through the air at 20, 30, 50, 80,000 feet in the air full of helium and, and what? Seriously. Do you think we're that fucking stupid? No. We are not. So, uh, <laughs> um, and of course, uh, we want to talk about Team Linda. Go Team Linda. Uh, Team Linda. Team Linda had a. Uh, uh, she's been hospitalized. She had a little fl uh, fluid on her heart, and uh, she's in. Uh, she, you know, obviously they're watching her and everything. She's starting to get her voice back. Yeah. Yeah, she started to get her voice back, and uh, um, while she was in the hospital being monitored, uh, you know, for the the and yeah, I mean, chemo is kicking her ass, of course, but she is fighting the good fight, and uh, Team Linda is all over her. Uh, they're they're taking the fight to cancer, uh, but once she started to get her voice back, uh, she started complaining about the lack of salt in hospital food. <laughs> So, uh, uh, I, I did ask her if she wanted me to smuggle in some salt, uh, and she's like, no, no snug, no smuggle, no smuggle. Uh, so, uh, yeah, right on. So, um, <laughs> that was an interesting update. Um, so go team Linda, fuck cancer, beat cancer. And, uh, from what I understand she is. So, uh, all you guys and gals out there. Uh, thank you very much for your thoughts and prayers. I'm pretty sure she, she, she really appreciates it. You know, uh, yes, yeah, she, she stays anonymous. Uh, good friend of mine. Um, and, uh, we love you. We love you, Linda. And, uh, we're, 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 we're watching this fight intently, more intently so than all the bullshit that's going on in this world. Um, you know, I am, I am intently watching the team Linda. So, uh, go team Linda. Fuck cancer. So, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.